I was working in my garden when an idea planted itself in my brain for the next Craftober diorama. And that is going to be a witch's greenhouse, guys. Tiny greenhouse for your life. Isn't it cool? Please excuse the noise if there is any because they're doing construction next door. So you may hear um, like loud thumps and have like an earthquake where like everything shakes. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. <sighs> Say hi. Why? Why are you like this? <laughs> Abuse! We caught it on camera. Abuse! You're abusive to me. Can you take your Oh my god. Wow. Um, I'm super excited to show you guys how to make this. So if you want to find out how I made this thing, just keep watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe along the way because that really, really, really helps me out. And, and yeah, and let's do it. Okay guys, so we need to start this project off right and that means getting all of our ideas out of our head and down onto paper. So I'm drawing out what I want the finished greenhouse to look like and that's going to help me when I want to do things like making sure it's in scale and also just so I don't get lost along the way. This is what it's going to look like at the end of Craptober guys. So hang in there and keep watching for the next video. This is the size that we are going to make this thing. It's going to be in 1 24th scale, which I measured out and in keeping with that and making tiny, tiny little floorboards, which you can see here. If you guys want a video on how to measure things so that they are in scale, let me know in the comments below and I will do one for you. It's basically a lot of math. <laughs> So this is a different kind of foam than we've used in our other Craftober videos. This is foam board, and when you peel the paper off of foam board, you can go ahead and draw on the inside. So that's where I'm drawing these bricks, because the pencil leaves an impression that is perfect for the texture of these bricks, the brick wall, and it's just super easy for this scale. Once I've drawn out like a bajillion bricks, I went ahead and carved out part of the back wall of the building so that it looks like it's crumbling and has stood there for ages. Time to paint. Before I put down any acrylic paints, I went over all of the foam pieces with a mixture of glue and water and that just acted as a primer to get everything set for this paint. Then mixed up some acrylic paint into like a brick color. Doesn't really matter what color, whatever color you love. Um, but this is just a dark brown that I ended up with and I thought it gave it an aged look, so I went with that. This 
this is the jar where I keep my nicer brushes. <laughs> we want to have a really sharp point on our brush when we go in between all of these tiny, tiny, tiny little bricks. Okay, bricks are done. I'm using tracing paper and I've already drawn out the measurements and the grid work for the glass part of this. I almost said cemetery. I've been doing that for so long. <laughs> the glass part of this greenhouse. Here I am just gluing all of the wood pieces together and taping them down so they can dry. and then giving them a nice little sand before they get a coat of that acrylic paint. And now a word from our sponsor. It's not Starbucks, it's my boyfriend who keeps bringing me coffee. Thank you. Once it's all dried up, fix any places that you forgot to glue things in place. And then we're gonna add in the glass in between all of these wooden pieces. So I used some clay, covered it in olive oil, and then pressed the wooden piece down into it so that I could have a smooth surface for the back of my window. I'm using UV resin to do this. If you remember from our previous episodes, that is a resin that cures when it's introduced to ultraviolet light, and it cures within minutes. looks pretty good those were some tests and once I was ready to go to the actual greenhouse I got out a different colored clay because I had a slight suspicion that this softer clay would end up sticking to my resin and you know was was one of those things I thought if it does stick It'll at least look like moss or something if I use this green, and yeah. Good call, good call. Because as you can see, it's stuck. To solve this problem, in case you encounter it, you just have to scrape it off the back. Frame's all done, floor is all done, walls are getting done right now, if all ball will let me work. Look at him. All ball, oh my gosh. Okay, we're gluing it all together. See how the green really just makes it all look fantastic? Okay, so I had this idea that I wanted these ivy vines cascading all over the building. So I painted out each individual little ivy leaf and then cut it out. Um, I'm insane. Never do that. There are punches you can buy online that'll be a lot faster and make a lot more sense. Use those. <laughs> this rope I am using as vines. I'm sticking it on with tacky glue. Place each individual leaf. 
Are you ready? One by one, these tiny little leaves find their way onto the vines. It's the only way I could think to make it look how I wanted it to look. So I went full mad scientist mode and just did it. And I think it turned out pretty great. <laughs> what do you guys think? Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment down below and subscribe so that you guys can see the interior of this in the next episode. Bye.